Hey everyone, it's Richard Metal Fan here, bringing you guys an uh, old school album review. And today we're going to be looking into this uh, one album's, or well, 30th anniversary. Well, technically this would be 35th, five years, because this was recorded in 1986, but it was later officially released in 1991. But we're going to be calling it like the 30th anniversary of it officially being announced, even though it's 35 years old this year. But anyway, I'm besides the point today we're going to be talking about abominations of desolation by morbid angel joel this was their demo album that was recorded originally in 1986 they had a at the time they had a mike browning doing as their drummer slash doing vocals which i think that it's a challenge doing like vocals and drumming at the same time of course trey zagath on guitars richard brunel on guitars and john ortega on bass but it was around but they didn't release it around the time was when it was recorded in 1986 due to i've heard of dissatisfaction with the final product and like sort of like the lineup change they would have after that um and then it was later released in 1991 one this album but instead their uh, debut full-length album is of course altars of madness and this actually album actually came after blessed artist sick and before covenant and um a lot of the these uh thing things um a lot of these songs are actually sort of like older like demo versions of songs that were later be re-recorded for altars of madness and some blessed artist six and hell there was even a song from covenant or hell, a song that from from Formulas Fail to the Flesh, which I think is pretty interesting. But yeah, a lot of these songs are sort of like older versions, but they kind of sound a little bit different compared to some of the final versions. Um, and just production-wise, it's just a raw demo demo feel. Like, it's not like the f actual perfect. But yeah, I pretty much rambled on for about two minutes. So without further ado, let's dive into this album track by track. Now starting things off is the Invocation slash Chapter of Ghouls. Now this was later be re recorded as Chapter of Ghouls for Altars of Madness. This Now the first thing you hear is like the harsh kind of like raspy vo voice of Mike Browning. And he actually sounds pretty mean compared to uh, David Vincent. Uh, but it just doesn't impress anybody remotely. It's easy kind of like to understand what David did, however. And the lyrics are, like most of the, the this on on abominations are slightly in different ways it's also quite evil which kind of makes me chuckle a little bit when i hear like lyrics kind of like vomiting on the cross but overall i think that's a pretty good song then we get to uh unholy blasphemies which would later be on blessed are the sick now this song is compared to the final version it's a lot slower but just overall just crushing compared to the later one and the solos just come clear and just all out in a blazing fast dissonant and just insane that trey just put out in the future and i think it's really straight that really stands out um next up is angel of disease which would later be re re recorded for covenant and which in my opinion is probably my favorite morbid angel album now angel of disease on this i think is probably my favorite song on here and i think i could pretty much say the next the same thing about all the other songs. Um, then we could move on to Azagoth. Now, Azagoth would later be re retitled The Ancient Ones and be recorded for Blessed Star to Sick. But uh, this song is a little bit different. It has different lyrics in places, though I feel like it's pretty much the exact same song. It's not nearly as catchy as the final version, but it's a good song that, nonetheless. And then we move on to The Gate Slash lord of all fevers now this was later be be changed their name to lord of all fevers and plague for altars of madness this and this pretty much has a guitar and a drum intro with browning sort of like evil kind of laughter which breaks into the the song it sort of like retains all the solos and it sounds very evil and the tempo here is kind of a little bit slower and it almost has a kind of a weird happy sounding riff that seems a little bit out of place that moves later but it's pretty much continues on it's just natural um next up is a very interesting song we move on to hellspawn now hellspawn one would actually be re-recorded for a future album like way way in the way ahead in like the late 90s formulas failed to the flesh but it would be, just be called hellspawn the rebirth now hellspawn just really shows sort of the fast drumming and screaming and picking that doesn't even done on this uh, 
Altars of Madness or even Blessed Art of Sick, which I think, in my opinion, could have been a lot awesome. But there is a little bit of the repetitive chance of I Am Hell Spawn, which I think kind of sounds a little bit uh, downside at times. But it's awesome. It, it's fast as pretty much anything on the later stuff. Um, next up is Abominations, which is, of course, from Blessed Art of Sick. And this version isn't much different than on the final version, but it's still good. Um, then we move on to the only song that that hasn't been that's a, it only exists as a demo version but I don't think it's ever been re-recorded or anything which would be called Demon Seed. Now Demon Seed is a pretty good song but I feel like musically it kind of sounds to me a little bit like Creator and it doesn't have sort of like the best evil lyrics. It almost seems a little bit redundant with sort of like the twisting minds things and everything but it's still pretty much everything better after through, through that album. It's just fanatical. It's just brutal but it's not one of the best, in my opinion. And then we close things out with Welcome to Hell, which would later be retitled as Evil Spells from Altars of Madness. Now, it's just a slow and dragging version, which sort of has a speed up into a repetitive course of Welcome to Hell. And around like 3 minutes and 45 seconds to about 4.20, there's like a nice surprise that wasn't even in the final version. It just goes insane and just forces you a headbang. And I kind of wish that was on the final version. Now, overall, all Abominations of Devil's Salation by Morbid Angel is a pretty interesting album. It's really interesting to hear some of the older songs from the first couple records in, like, very raw, very different, different primitive form. So I have to give this album a score. I'm going to give Abominations by, of Desolation by Morbid Angel a solid 8.5 out of 10. So, yep, that's my review of the album, guys. Let me know in the comments what you guys think about the album, and I'll see you all in the next video. And as always, keep it metal.